There has to be a car around here somewhere. Right here. Okay. Dude, you gotta be careful. Look what have you done to my car. Okay, this is the perfect spot to find some cars. This one, it looks good. No one even saw it. So, look what I have done. I gotta be careful with the driving. Dude, this place is full of policemen. Okay, let's keep moving. Okay, now I'm driving fast and I do like it, so because I can reach the destination, that's what I'm talking about, look at this car, I do like it actually, so I will take it, wait a second, or I don't, I do like it, I thought it was a good one, so I gotta keep moving. to see IA place is our friend okay let's talk to him okay what are you dude looking pretty lively for a dead guy the man himself mr. Vito Scaletta you gotta be shitting me last couple months have been pretty tough on old Vito Sal's always hated him Thought he was a mole for the commission, but he couldn't do anything about it because Vito's made. After the heist, Sal refused to pay Vito his cut, and then he put the clamps on him. He's been trying to limit Vito's ability to pay what's owed. And if Scaletta can't kick up, the commission will give Marcano permission to whack him. The only reason that Vito is still above ground is because he has a couple off-the-record businesses. He's been using that money to pay Sal. Gotta give Scaletta credit. Pretty goddamn tenacious. He's lasted a lot longer than I thought he would, but the clock is ticking. A couple weeks ago, Sal sent in his nephew, a kid named Michael Greco, to help Vito run River Row. Greco's been using his guys to limit what Vito can do, where he can go. Once he has Vito completely boxed in, he'll make his move. Scaletta has to know what Greco has planned. I'll pay him a visit. See if I can leverage this thing with Greco to bring Scaletta around in my way of thinking. I'm sure I'll appreciate your concern. Okay, work the man who blessed. I gotta go right here. Okay. River Row. Let's leave this place. Wait a second, where was the door? It was right there. This is a quicker, okay. Make some space. All right. That's, that is not so far, so that's good. There's a different cars in this game and I do like this thing actually. Mm. 
that was really close the police they are right there they will catch me they didn't whoa nothing is happening your death is coming keep looking you see us somewhere okay then where you want to look Okay. Gotta keep moving. Nothing is gonna be quiet for you, dude. He's taking out the whole team. Cover. He's, He's down. All right. Who's next? Look at this one. Will I ever reach him? I didn't actually. So. I I gotta get closer to them. Yeah, cut that sack of shit down. All right, you bring it on, dude. Is that? No way, they are all here. I gotta hide. Wait a second, I need some ammunition. All right, he's down. I gotta be careful this time. That's him. Really, dude? Look what I have done. Come on, bring it on. He's down. He's down. Here's the first day that I can take. Okay. Now we're talking. I gotta pick up some ammunition. It could be useful. Okay. Where are the rest of them? There's still more of them right here, so I gotta be careful. Look at this one. Really, dude? Okay, now we're talking. Stop looking. Come on, hurry up. It's not the best time. Fuck out of me. Look, we're going around. Ain't no one feeling real secure about that place, so. That fucker's mad. Okay, look at this one. We are doing well so far, so. I cannot do it like this. Yes. I already did it actually. Looks like I got here just in time, Vito. Link. How's this possible? I thought you were dead. The bullet was deflected by my skull. Came out the back. Talk about some goddamn luck. Worst place to shoot a fella is in the forehead. The skull's harder than you think. <clears throat> Come on. We need to have a talk. When I heard about what happened, I went to Marcano asking my cut right then and there. I figured if he fucked you and Sammy, I'd be next. Yeah, I'm guessing he didn't go for it. <sighs> Said he wanted to wait for the heat to die down. Didn't want me running around, buying expensive shit, getting noticed. Like I'm some fucking amateur, never sat on a big score before. <laughs> money I fronted for the robbery was pretty much everything I put away. Didn't have enough to run, so I stayed. The commission wouldn't let him just kill me, so I figured I'd make that cocksucker jump through every hoop, make him prove I deserve to get whacked. It wasn't much, but it was something. Heard he brought in his nephew to push you out. A kid named Michael Greco. Nephew by marriage, not blood. What is number in here? Yeah. They were looking to see what other rackets I was running. I could leave a fucking paper trail in my office. Eh, don't bother with that shit. Look, uh... Appreciate you getting me out of the freezer and all, but, uh... What are you doing here? Marcano deserves to pay for what he did, so I'm going after him. 
Him, his brothers, his lieutenants, all of them. I'm gonna need your help. Look, pretty much whittle me down to nothing. I mean, this is it. For now, maybe. Once I take back River Road from Greco, money will start coming in, it'll be a different story. Also, a partner's now. As long as you do what I say and give me what I want when I want it. <laughs> so goodbye, Marcano, hello, Lincoln Clay. It's either that or more of this. And next time, I won't be around to fish your ass out the freezer. Nobody kills that scumbag but me. You bring me Greco. I'm in. Tell me about his rackets. He took over the dock union, and he's got a warehouse. He has a lot of valuable shit in there. You take both of them out. Greco's finished. A couple of my guys have been keeping tabs on him. You should talk to them. They'll fill you in. All right. All right, it's complete. We are partners now. All right, guys. Visit Big Racks. Okay. That's it for this episode and I will catch up with you next time. Bye.